Heavy copper on circuit boards can be essential for high current applications and are useful for removing heat during board operation. But that same heat dissipation can be problematic when populating boards, as it takes a large amount of power to heat up the same areas to be soldered. Fortunately, there are several ways to address the challenge of soldering on heavy copper circuit boards. Include thermal reliefs in the design of the solder pads. Limit the surface area connecting solder pads to planes of heavy copper. By using thermal reliefs, you decrease the surface area that connects the solder pad and the plane, increasing the thermal resistance. Increase the time and heat when reflow or wave soldering. Thick copper PCBs have a greater thermal mass that takes more time to heat up and cool down. During assembly, the temperature profile can be adjusted to slowly heat up and cool down boards to avoid delamination. Care must be taken to ensure components on the PCBs can withstand the new profiles. Hand solder. Components that can't withstand the longer soldering time, they may need to be hand soldered. In this situation, it may be necessary to use a higher power soldering iron or preheat the PCB on a hot plate. Contact Advanced Assembly to learn more about designing for PCB assembly at aapcb.com.